Hello, Fredlings. It is Claude from Chicago, and we are back with another food review. Unfortunately, there's not a good logo for this thumbnail. But today, we are reviewing by far one of my favorite fast food franchises, McDonald's. Now, there is a special little sandwich I got in here that does not come from the Patreons, but this is... A Patreon exclusive, so if you're seeing this a month after, you are a part of the regular public, but they do come out to the public. But today, we are reviewing McDonald's, and we're going to go through all of the deliciousness in it. So we do a the, the beginning, I forgot what we called that, the main meal, and then the dessert. So of course, we're going to start with the classic McDonald's fries. I believe these are the greatest fries ever. We got ourselves a medium fry. I think I got a medium fry at the last place. But before we go farther... Um, the whole meal was ten twenty four, um, but obviously I got something a little bit extra, so it came out to fifteen oh three. We'll talk about that little extra thing a little bit later on. But let's try the fries here. These are my favorite fries of all time. Let's see if they hold up because McDonald's always does it different. Um, these fries have no salt on them they're not soggy which is a good i guess we're gonna have to give the mcdonald's fries even though they are my favorite fries of all time without the salt they're kind of crunchy i'll give them like a honestly they're a three they're pretty bad they used they're i mean they're good if there's salt on them but all right so the next thing that i got is a McDouble. This is my classic sandwich that I always get from McDonald's. Now, people were saying in the last episode, Claude doesn't eat pickles and all this stuff. I've heard some stuff. I do eat pickles. I don't like eating pickles, but I'm going to take a bite from this. It's a McDouble. So if you've never had a McDouble before, it's a patty, a cheese, a patty, then the stuff in the inside, which is ketchup, mustard, onions, pickle. I eat that whole pickle. Mmm. Now, the reason why I like... Oh, God, a pickle. The reason why I like this sandwich over anything else... Maybe that's a thumbnail. I don't know. It's because there's not too much cheese, so it's not overpowering it. I just like how they make their hamburgers. So the hamburger itself, this McDouble, I would give this... Yeah, an eight. I give this an eight. It's freaking good. I love McDoubles. Now, we've got to do something very important between each of them. Let's clear our palate. But those fries tasted so bad. I mean, there was a little bit of salt when I put down the uh, fries, but I mean, not the salt that they usually do. Now, our final thing. Now, I'm surprised. I don't know if there's like a large one of these or if this is just a different place. But this is the Oreo McFlurry. The McDouble was the cheapest on there. The medium fry was the second most expensive. The third most expensive is this our dessert now this is an oreo mcflurry these are one of my favorite things of all time why because oreo mcflurries actually use real oreos now if you don't know for people that don't know this top here why does it have like a little square in it that's because they actually use this to blend up the um the frosty so look at all this goodness here it's kind of a little bit blown out but uh, that's just from the area my hands have like a shaking issue. There we go, get that down the iris. But look at that, look at that. Mmm. Now, desserts are not usually like my favorite thing of all time. And the reason is, I mean, I'm not super huge in ice cream. I'm not super huge in that, at least anymore. But this is good because this is a real Oreo. I'll give this a seven. So that would give our total of 18 for this episode. I can't believe I did the math that quickly off the top of my head. And 18 for the McDonald's review. Unfortunately, the fries dropped low. The McFlurry was decent. The McDouble was really good. But we have a special... Thank you to the Patreons. But this is the most expensive thing on the list. It does not come out of the Patreons budget or the donations budget or anything. But I had to get this for our main man, Meep, a filet fish 
Uh, I don't know where we're gonna go for a British restaurant one of these days for our food review, but this is the filet of fish. Now, I think I remember correctly that this is like an Alaskan cod or carp or something like that. But a filet of fish is a tartar sauce, a fish square, and a piece of cheese on two uh, brioche buns, I guess is what you would call this. Oh my god. That is so good. That is so good. I'm always a big fan of these. This is honestly like better than a McDouble. A filet of fish a nine. The highest read reviewed thing, but it doesn't count towards this video because we only review the th three things. If you want to see a specific food review coming up in the future, please let me know by commenting on this video in the Discord or on our YouTube video. Uh, we do the food reviews. We'll do the polls in the Patreon page and all that stuff. The Patreons always get the uh, first right away on these. So thank you so much, Patreons, for watching this video, supporting the channel through donations or through the Patreon page itself. So thank you to these special Patreons on screen right now and donators. If you guys want to see another video like these, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you soon, Fredlings. I'm Claw from Chicago. And remember, a real Fredling makes their own luck.